I call this tale Mr Peeler's Butterflies. You'll all have heard the nursery rhyme, Sleep, sleep, now close your eyes, don't fish for Mr Peeler. For if you lie awake at night, you'll summon the sleep stealer. No? Well, for your sake, I hope you never do! <laughs> it was two hours past Alexander's bedtime and he wouldn't go to bed. Can't I just see the end of this programme? No, said his mother firmly. Since when have you been interested in the weather? Since you told him to go to bed, muttered Alexander's father. Oh, please, please, please! Just five minutes more! No! Bed now! No bed now? Oh, OK. Go to bed! But I'm not tired! Well, we are! Good night! <sighs> now go to sleep. Good night, Mummy. I love you. Whoops! Oh, I forgot to brush my teeth. And before his mother could catch him, Alexander had gone. Geronimo! Oh, uh, oh, what? Oh, oh. Now we can all get some sleep. Not until I've put my shiny swimming costume on. Your what? The sparkle keeps the bad men away. They think I've got twinkling fairies in my pyjamas. Hey, Mummy! Looking good! Are you ready now? Yup! Ready for Betty! But of course he wasn't. Alexander was just warming up. Right. Curtains closed. Check. Of course. No, but, but really closed, so no naughty shadows can squeeze through. Good night, Alexander. Landing light on. Check. It will be. Because you wouldn't want me getting scared, would you? All his mother wanted was her bed. Mummy! Toys! Go to sleep, Alexander. But I can't sleep unless I've got all my toys in bed with me. Ah! Quickly, then. Which ones? Ah, oh, I want Flopsy and Mopsy, that remote-controlled fire engine, those pictures on the wall, my metal dinosaur, Giant Billy. That's it. Happy now? And the wind-up mouse in my shoe. And where's your shoe? Downstairs. Alexander, please, I shall cry again. His mother stormed out of the room and returned a couple of minutes later, empty-handed. There was no wind-up mouse in your shoe. Oh, I know! I just found it in my hand. It must have been there all the time. Sorry. Are you going to read me a story? No! Could I have my tape on, then? Go to sleep! Alexander would give her three minutes, just enough time to get settled downstairs. Oh, parents! What do you want now? I'm thirsty. I need a drink of water. His father did the fetching. Now will you go to bed? Well, can't I go to the loo first? Why? It was that glass of water. And he skipped into the bathroom and pretended to pee. Ah, oh, oh, yes. He sighed loudly behind the door. Oh, yes, that's much better. Then he pulled the chain and padded back into his bedroom. Right. This is your last warning, Alexander. If you don't go to sleep now, Mr Peeler will pay you a visit. Mr Who? Trust me, you don't want to know. But even this fearful threat had no effect on Alexander. Oh, Daddy! What is it now? Good night. Honestly, you and Mummy are such cross patches. <laughs> Alex.
Alexander did not go to sleep until ten to four, by which time his nightmare was fully awake. The latch slid across with a sharp click. A pink butterfly fluttered into the bedroom and Alexander felt something drop onto his duvet. <gasps> Who's there? Mommy! Daddy! But nobody heard him call. His parents were fast asleep. Alexander could smell fish. Sardines? Spooky! And when he looked up, there was the butterfly flapping its combed black wings like it was blinking. Sleep, sleep, sleep now. now. Close your eyes. Don't, Don't fish for Mr. Feely. For if you lie awake at night, you'll summon the sleep stealer. A small, fat man had appeared at the end of Alexander's bed. In his hand, he held a butterfly net and a silver key. Still not asleep, boy? His breath reeked of sardines. Uh, I'm wearing my sparkly swimming trunks, you know. You can't hurt me. <laughs> I know who you are. And I knows who you is too. So ain't that quaint. You're Mr Peeler. I'm going to scream. Go ahead. But your parents wouldn't wake up tonight if the old street came bashing down the door. What do you want? I want you to keep your eyeballs peeled for Mr. Peeler. <laughs> Laughed the butterfly beast with a wink of his crusty eye. B but you're here. I can already see you. That's not quite what I meant. It occurs to me that them boys and girls what won't go to sleep when they're asked can't be needing sleep. Ever peeled off the lid of a sardine tin with one of these? You can't steal my sleep. It's mine. I need it. Not anymore. If you want to stay awake all night, I's here to make sure you does. <coughs> and with one twist of his wrist, he did what he had come for. A few moments later, Alexander had no choice but to watch Mr Peeler and his butterflies take their leave. Now you see me, and now you see me again. <laughs> and again. And again. And again. Alexander never closed his eyes again. Every night he searched for his sleep, but never did he find it. The sleep stealer had stolen it away. Still think those were butterflies, children? <laughs> oh dear me, no. <laughs> Oops, I can't seem to blink. Oh, oh, that's better. Thank you, Spindle Shanks. Night, night. Sleep tight. <laughs>